my intro to mass communication students. Um, this uh, session will um, see us wrapping up module three, which means you will have a module three exam um, to do. So please be um, paying attention to that and remember that will be a two-part exam as um, you saw in modules one and two. So we'll be concluding module three and moving on to module four and the focus for module four will be on your final project um, and also doing your final uh, video blog and um, reviewing for and taking the final exam. But in this session I want to talk about um, the area of media conglomeration and um, so a little bit about the history of that and the reasons why we um, see some of the mergers we do and some of the concerns um, that exist, especially as media conglomeration applies to news outlets. And so you will begin um, with learning about a case study involving the merger of AOL and um, Time Warner, um, and AOL being an internet um, service and Time Warner being more diverse. And so one reason we see um, some of these mergers is to look at new media. And so as a uh, media becomes dated, um, companies start to look for the next big thing. And um, we start to see them um, diversifying and um, selling off uh, some of their um, platforms to develop others. And you'll learn about um, the history of Disney um, as a important example of that where they were very focused primarily on animation, doing cartoons, and um, finding that that wasn't particularly profitable given the amount of time that it took um, to produce even a short animated film. And so diversifying, and now we know Disney um, for things like their um, theme parks and um, creating movies. Um, and so they have um, invested and diversified and um, become a conglomerate. Um, in this um, session, you'll also be learning about um, something very important, the antitrust laws. And so um, as we see um, companies merging, we do become concerned about what that means for competition um, and uh, what that means for local companies. Um, being able to be competitive. And so while we see expansions, the government does um, become involved in oftentimes um, deciding if a merger um, would violate the antitrust law or not. And so um, of particular interest to me is as we see more um, multinational control of media products. And so we see uh, mergers that then um, are combining different um, news sources. And this starts to raise a concern when we um, lack um, a diversity in opinions and viewpoints. And we start seeing um, news coming through multiple channels from the same sources um, with the same owners, um, sometimes with um, a very um, specific focus. And um, we're seeing more powerhouses, and um, this, this is playing into um, politics. And so we really need to be asking ourselves some questions. Um, as we're seeing companies begin to enter news in these more narrow markets, um, are they promoting um, versions of the news um, that are uh, politically motivated or um, not as objective, and um, do people even realize who um, own some of these media corporations? Is there, um, for example, um, think about some sort of um, uh, wall between um, editorial content and um, ownership or advertising? And we are seeing those lines blurred at times, and that becomes very concerning. Um, when we talk about the role of mass communication, mass communication in a democracy, and uh, promoting um, free speech and um, a discussion, so um, critics of media mergers and media consolidation, um, they sometimes even argue that our antitrust laws are too limited, and essentially that we are seeing fewer voices um, represented in the marketplace, less diversity and less competition. 
So in the past, um, they played an important role in terms of um, livelihood and securing a future uh, for companies like Disney, Time Warner, and AOL. Um, but we are seeing a continually um, narrowing market with fewer owners owning more um, of our media resources. And so be thinking about that and what that means um, for democracy. So I hope you will enjoy your readings. Um, there'll be a lot of um, familiar names of companies. And uh, again, be thinking about um, the role that um, having um, fewer owners can play in uh, allowing us to have more voices. And uh, this may bring us back to when we were talking about the importance of things like having community radio and uh, local sources um, that are more independent and to be thinking about um, models for ownership in ways that uh, media can survive and be profitable um, without these uh, corporate ownerships um, that may really be changing the um, news that we're hearing and even playing into um, some of the issues we've talked about, things like fake news. So I will um, look forward to reading your viewpoints on the subject, and I hope you're working on your final project.